Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Levittown Public Library with Stretch, Stretch Fusion with Devi on Thursday, June 29th, 2023. Take it away, Deb. All right. Thank you so much. Everybody, welcome. Today is our last session for this series. We will start back up again in September, but I just want to wish all of you happy summer. So why don't we all stand up and get the body raring to go here. So we're just going to start out with just warming up some of the uh, joints of the body. So bringing the shoulders just up and around, circling back and around for two. Squeeze the shoulder blades on the way down, taking it for three and four and five. Now reverse the direction. Take it up and around for one and two, three, and four, and five. Good. From here, we're just going to swing the arms forward and then just bring them back. Good. And forward for two. We're going to go for eight of these. So just kind of free flowing, bringing them three, and reach them back. And four, four more, taking it for five, and six. Two more coming up here, seven and eight. And we're just going to kind of let the arms flop around as you twist to the right. So you're letting the arms just flop to the right and the left and two and around, taking it for three. So we're kind of walk, warming up our core as well. Here's four, four more coming up, taking it for five and six, two more and seven, one more each side and eight. All right. So we're going to start with a little bit of some coordination. I just feel it's very important doing working on our balance and coordination and our strength all in one. So you're going to take your right leg, taking it out to the side a little bit, bringing your arms in front, and we're going to slightly lift that right leg as you bring the left arm out to the side. Try not to let your body rock back and forth if you can help it. So slowly just control it, bringing it up for one. And if you need to, you can place your hand on the chair too, the one that's not moving, taking it for three, take it down, and four, bringing it for five, and six, here's seven, and eight. Good, the same arm, same leg, taking it to the front. You're gonna drop the arm and lift the knee. So taking it for one, and two, Good, try to come down slow, up slow, three and four, taking it for five, six, two more, seven and eight, and taking it down, good, shifting your weight to the other leg. So taking that left leg out the right arm. And again, if you if have an issue with shoulders or anything, you can lower it and just bring your arm to the side or do anything that is comfortable for you. So here we go. Bringing the leg and arm up, taking it down. And two, take it for three, and four, five, six, two more coming up, seven, and eight. Good, same arm, same leg, only to the front now. So take it for one, slowly come down, and two, Good, make this part of your balance as well. Here's three and four. Take it for five, six. You're working your core big time here. Here's seven, one more, and eight. So we're gonna do a little bit of a march. We're not gonna do the sideways things, but we're gonna put the, the forward um, coordination together with a march, alternating sides. So you're still hugging your imaginary tree. You're gonna start with that right knee up, dropping the left arm. I'm ready to go for eight counts. So here we go. So that's one other side and two and switch and three. Little brain challenge here, other side and four, switch. Here's five and side and six. Two more counts here, taking it for seven, other side, one more each side, and eight, and switch, and bring it down. All right, good job with that. 
So we're just gonna kind of inside your sneakers if you have if you have your shoes on or if you have socks on or, or barefoot, you're just gonna crinkle your toes a little bit like you're um, rubbing the floor or the mat or anything that you're on. So just crinkle the toes three times. So that's one, two, and three. Good, so now without moving anything else, just try lifting your toes up. We're not lifting up off of the feet and then drop the toes down. Lift them up for two and down. Two more, lift them for three, down one more and four and down. So now try to evenly balance your weight along the whole foot, evenly distributed. So we're just gonna slightly shift our weight forward. We're not gonna lift anything, but just shift the weight forward a little bit. It's almost, you almost can't see it. Now just shift your weight back a little bit into the heels, but don't go too far back. And again, rock it forward and rock it back. Just two more, just rock it forward, rock it back. Last one, rock it forward, rock it back. And now evenly distribute the weight, your whole foot. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of balance work. So we're gonna lift that right foot up for a count of four. Have your chair nearby in case you need it. Never know. All right, so we're gonna lift it for four. We're gonna hold it for eight and then lower it back for four. So here we go, bringing it up. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, take it down, two, three, and four. Good, we're gonna do that again. Bring it up, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down, two, three, and four. Good, one more time. Bring it up, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, take it down, two, three, and four. All right, I bet you felt that in your calf. It was working big time to keep you balanced. Let's go to the other leg and do the same thing. We'll get the hardest stuff over with first. So now lift that left knee up, bringing it up, two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, take it down, two, three, and four. Good, focus on something that's not moving. It does help. All right, bring that knee back up. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down, two, three, and four. One, one more time, last time. Bring it up. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down. Two, three, and four. All right, good job with that. So we're going to rock the boat a little bit. You're going to place your right foot in front of the left heel to toe. I'll turn sideways so you can see, but you can just stay in the direction you're at. Slight gap between your heel and the toes, just so that you don't catch one foot on the other. Then you're just gonna slowly rock it forward, but you're gonna lift that back heel up. It's a little different than when we're on both feet. So now rock it back. Think of a rocking horse. Lift the front of the foot up. And again, take it forward. The back heel comes up. We're gonna go for four of each. Take it back, the front toes come up. Take it forward, back heel up. And take it back, the front toes come up. Let's go for one more, rock it forward, the back heel comes up, rock it back, front toes come up, lower foot down, stay here. So now we're gonna make it a little more challenging. Now you're gonna actually pick up that right foot and put it behind the left. And now bring it back in front. Take it back, so there's a little more movement involved in this. Bring it back in front. Let's go two more, take it behind and in front. Last one, take it behind and in front, good, stay here. You're gonna tap that right foot six counts 
to get behind and six counts to come back up. Think of where the numbers are on a clock. So tap it for one, two, three, four, five, six, bring it back, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so let's do the same stuff on the other side. I'll turn a little bit sideways. Now the left foot is in front of the right, slight gap between your heel and your toes. Lean slightly forward, lift the back heel up. Think of a rocking horse. Rock it back, lift the front toes up. Rock it forward, heel comes up. Rock it back, toes come up. Last two, rock it forward, the heel comes up. Rock it back, toes up. Last time, rock it forward, heel comes up. Rock it back, toes up. Lower the toes, stay in your tightrope. Now add a little bit more movement by picking up the left foot, putting it behind the right. And bring it back in front. Take it behind, second time. And in front. Last two, take it behind. And in front. One more, bring it behind. Bring it in front, stay here. And now tap six times like you did on the other side. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it back for one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, good job with that. I hope during the summer you practice this at least a couple of times a week. It is so, so very, I can't stress how important this is to work on your balance because we do lose it as we get older. So we're gonna stand in a little bit of a, I call it a split position where your right foot is going to be forward, the left leg is back. Your choice, whether you wanna dip low a little bit, you don't have to. And you're just gonna bring your arms either in front or lower. Um, we're gonna twist in the direction of that front leg. So you're gonna twist to the right. So we're kind of stretching out and twisting our upper body. We're also working on balance this way. So twist to the right. And bring it back to the center. We're gonna go for four of these. So twist to the right. Make sure you don't over twist or feel anything in the lower back. You know your body. So if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Twisting for three. And bringing it back. One more twist for four. And take it back. So we're gonna switch the position of our leg. So bring that right leg back, left is forward. Taking it your choice, a little bit lower if you want to, you don't have to. Make sure you don't feel any pressure on the knees and now just twist to the left. And bring yourself forward. So try to initiate the twist from your core. Twist again and back. So I'm not just moving my arms. Twist for three. Bring it back, one more coming up. Twist for four. And bring it back. And bring the legs together. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of our squats, lifting the arms up. Then we're gonna do some heel lifts, lifting the arms to the side, and then we'll put them together. So again, this keeps the body moving, the body flowing. You don't have to go too low. So I'm turning sideways again so that you can see. The feet should be about hip distance apart where your hip bones are, not out here. So from that, when I say hip distance, people will come out wide, wide like this. Your bones are a bit narrower than you think. And you're gonna sit down in your imaginary chair, but don't let your knees go forward. Let the backside go back, raise the arms up. Inhale as you just lift it up. So I'm not too far down. Exhale as you come back up. It's a nice gentle flowing movement. Take it down for two, inhale and bring it back. Two more coming up. Take it down for three. And bring it back. One more, taking it down for four. And bring it back. So from here, the arms are gonna go out to the side. You're gonna lift your heels up. So you don't have to go too high. So lift the heels, lift the arms, and take it down. So your choice, whether you wanna keep with the breathing of lifting up, inhaling, exhaling down. You don't have to just breathe normally. Taking it up for three, slowly come down with control. Up for four and bring yourself down nice and slow. So put the two movements together, making it nice and flowing. We're gonna go for a total of five. So we're gonna take it into your little chair position first. So here we go, sit it back. 
bring yourself back up, lift the heels, lift the arms, and take it down. Good, bringing it for two, and bringing it up, lift the heels, lift the arms, taking it for three, and bringing yourself up, lift the heels, two more, taking it for four, and bring your body up, and lift. Last one, taking it down for five. And lift all the way up and take it down. All right. So we're going to move on. Feel free, take a drink in between. It's so important to keep yourself hydrated. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of a spine warm up. If you have spine issues, again, only do what you know is safe for you. You have the option to. Keep your hands on the back of the chair or keep your hands on the seat, depending on how low is comfortable for you to do. And in this position, we're doing a little rendition of a yoga cat cow, where you're going to push the seat away from you and imagine there is a string pulling your spine up towards the ceiling. And you're just going to let your eyes gaze towards your thighs. So I'm looking so I can see you, but don't twist your head or do anything like that. So push the back away, belly button in, eyes look to the thighs. Your head is in alignment with the spine. <clears throat> and now slowly come back to that flat back. Now lift the chest up, lift the tailbone up, slightly arching the back, but don't force it. Getting that nice stretch in the stomach area. And again, slowly push the chair away from you, eyes to the thighs. And slowly reverse that, lift the chest up, lift the tail up. We're gonna add some breathing to this. So inhale to start, exhale as you push the chair away from you, eyes to the thighs. Inhale as you slowly come up. One more time, exhale, push the chair away from you. Inhale as you lift the chest, lift the tail. Take it to a neutral back. We're going to take it into, now your knee should be slightly soft, not really bent, but soft, not locked out. So we're going to do what's called a bird dog. You know, again, you can reach for the back of the chair if that is better for you, but we're going to slightly slide your right leg behind you. And you're just going to gently lift that. It doesn't have to be high, but you're going to lift your right leg and lift your right um, left arm up. Right leg, left arm. So lift and just reach and bring it down. You don't have to tuck it back in. Lift and reach for two and bring it down. We're gonna go for five and then we'll go to the other side. Lift and reach for three and take it down. Lift and reach for four and down one more. Lift and reach for five and take it down. Good to bring that right leg in even with the left. So now you're going to slide the left leg out and you're going to lift that left leg and right arm. So lift and reach for one and take it down. And again, it can be an inch or it can be two feet. Bring it up for two and take it down. You don't have to lift far. Bring it up for three and take it down. Two more and four and down one more and five and take it down. Good, feet are parallel to each other. We're gonna do one more thing. We're only gonna do three, but we're gonna alternate what we just did. So it's gonna be the right leg, left arm to start. And again, it can be a slight lift. It doesn't have to be far. So here we go, right leg, left arm, just lift and reach, come back in, other side. Lift and reach, come back in. Second time, lift and reach, other side. Lift and reach, and switch. Last time, lift and reach, Come back in, other side, lift and reach, and take it back in, and then just roll yourself back up. All right, so this is a really good lower back strengthener as well, as well as stretching the body out, especially if you have issues, osteoporosis, osteopenia. It's a good, good exercise to do. Typically, you would do it on your hands and knees on the floor. The, it's a little gentler when you use a chair for that. So one last thing, just kind of standing and breathing. You're gonna take your fingers, your thumb and your pointer finger, 
at your rib cage if you can. I want you to think, picture the air pushing your ribs out sideways. I want you to breathe into your hands. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale, feel that rib cage knit together. We're gonna go for two more. Inhale, breathe out to the sides. Exhale, bring it back together. One more time, inhale, breathe out to the sides. And exhale, feel everything knit together. All right, so we are going to take it into a little bit of a standing, um, standing roll down. We're not gonna go too far. So I'm gonna turn sideways so that you can see, and then we'll have a seat. So you're going to draw the belly button in and up. You're gonna slightly soften your knees and you're gonna tuck your chin, looking down towards the floor and letting your hands slide down your thighs or you can reach for the seat of your chair, feeling a little bit of a stretch in the lower back, but support yourself. And again, whether you go this far or whether you go down farther, we've been doing this long enough, so you know what we're doing here. Slowly taking it down. Again, hands can go on the seat of the chair or hands can come towards the floor hanging, head hanging or reaching for your elbows, um, different positions like a yoga red bow. And now to bring yourself back up, you can place your hands on the chair or on the front of the thighs as you just kind of roll yourself up bone by bone by bone, one vertebra at a time as you slowly come all the way back up. All right, so we're gonna have a seat. Just be mindful that the edges of the chair over here are a little bit rounded, so I don't want you to roll, roll forward. And we're gonna sit all the way to the right side of the seat, I'm holding on with that left hand. I'm just gonna aim my knee down towards the floor like that and just kind of hold it there. Those of you who are a little more flexible and are able to bring the leg back farther, then go ahead. If that's not good for you, then don't. So I'm just bringing that leg back, getting a nice stretch in the front of the thigh into the hip area. We'll get other stretches to work that same area, but we're just taking it in this position. And if you can, you're either gonna bring that right arm up and over, or just lean over to the side if there's any issues. So bringing the arm all the way up and over, and if being in this position isn't good for you, you can move that back leg a little more forward, holding that position, and slowly come back up, bringing the arm back to the side. We're gonna do that one more time. So slowly just lean over to the left, get a nice stretch in that right side of the body, and bring yourself all the way over. So we're gonna take it over to the other side. So just carefully slide yourself to the left side of your chair, holding on, dropping that back leg. If you are more flexible and you wanna straighten it out, do whatever you did on the other side. So now you're gonna take the left hand, bringing it up and over to the right, getting that nice stretch in the side of the body. And coming all the way back. And again, just bringing it all the way over. And taking it back. And one more time, just go all the way up and over. And taking it all the way back. So we are going to take it in the center of our chair. So we did a little bit of a standing coordination. So we're gonna do it seated, but we're gonna add the side to it. A little bit tough to do it standing. So you're going to bring your hands in front, the right leg, instead of lifting out to the side, you're just gonna tap it out to the side. So we're gonna take it with the right leg, left arm. We're gonna alternate right from the get-go. So we're gonna do side, side, and front, and front. So here we go. Take it to the side and switch. Other side to the front. Take it to the front and other side, to the side again, to the side, and the side, front, to the front, and the front, just two more sets, to the side, and the side, and to the front, and the front, last set, to the side, and side, and to the front, and front. All right, good job with that. 
very good. I'll have to make it harder when we come back in September. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do a little bit of a, I'll give you a couple of renditions. Either reaching for the back of your thigh and hugging the knee in or reaching for the front, the knee and the shin. So if you're reaching for the back of the thigh, it's, it's much easier. You can just go this far. We're also going to either bring our arms out to the side or lower or wherever is good for you. But we're going to take it to one side for eight, really opening up the chest wide and then coming back and hugging the knee in either underneath or on the top. So bring your arms out, open up the chest, come back, reach for that leg, come in just to where it's good for you. Doing it again, open up, stretch and come back, hug it in, stretching the lower back a little bit, bringing it out for three and taking it back, taking it out for four and bring it back, four more, bringing it out for five and back, last three coming up, taking it for six and bring it back, two more, bringing it up for seven and back, last one, taking it for eight and bring it in and take it down. If you found eight too many, you can always do less. Don't do it just because I said so. So five might be your number, three might be your number. It's perfectly okay. So let's take it to the other leg. You don't want you to strain yourself. So here we go, opening it out to the sides. Bring that other knee in and open it out for two. Open the chest and kind of tucking it in, bringing it up for three and tuck and four and taking it for five and bring it in and six. We have two more, taking it for seven and back one more coming up, taking it for eight and hugging it in and dropping that leg. So I'm gonna reach for the back of my chair and I'm going, and if this is too much for you, just reach to the sides. And I'm gonna lean forward, opening up the chest even more, really good for your posture. So as I lean forward, I'm using that chair for resistance. Head is in alignment with the spine. I'm not lifting my chin up. And slowly bringing yourself back. All right, so we're gonna start stretching a little bit of specifically the lower body. We're gonna open the legs fairly wide. You can make sure that you don't slide or anything on your chair. And now in this position, I'm pressing into the thighs. And I'm just going to slightly lean forward, feeling that stretch deepen as I press the legs away. Almost like doing a seated split here. And now just slowly bring yourself back, ease it up. So you're going to slowly inhale as you're coming into that position. Exhale if you want to lean a little farther. And then just breathe normally and just regular breathing. So we're gonna slightly dip that right shoulder towards the floor. In doing so, in that little bit of a twist, I'm actually pushing into that right thigh a little bit more just from the position of my body. And now take it to the other side, dip that left shoulder a little bit towards the ground. Again, twisting, a little bit of a stretch. And taking it back to the center. And from here, you're just gonna look towards the floor, you're rounding your back, and now you're just gonna roll yourself all the way up. And just bring your legs a little closer together. So you're gonna take your right leg out with the heel down and the toe up, turning sideways so you can see. I'm leaning towards the leg, make sure your chair is um, stable. And you can either reach towards your shin, towards the ankle, or just stay in a position where you're feeling the stretch. Imagine you have an apple under your chin. I assume you don't want the chin tucked down towards the neck, reaching past the foot. We wanna keep that leg as straight as we can and we don't wanna put any pressure on that extended knee. So don't lean or put your hand, any pressure on that right knee. And then slowly bringing yourself back up. So we are gonna cross at the ankle. We've done this enough so you know that leg either up on top or at the ankle, wherever is safe for you. Pushing into the thigh as long as you don't have any hip issues. Slight lean forward, again, feeling the stretch. 
Every time we do a stretch, be mindful. Tell, ask yourself, what am I feeling? Where am I feeling it? Does it feel good? Does it feel like there's a problem? And then bring yourself back up. So now you're going to take the left hand in the center of the right thigh, press into that leg as you twist and move all the way over your shoulder. And bring yourself back to the center. We're going to rotate the ankle five times all the way around for one and two. Be mindful if you're getting a good range of motion, three, unless you have any ankle issues, four and five and reverse. Take it around for one and two and three and four and five. Keeping your ankles strong but yet flexible will really, really be helpful in preventing falls especially if you're walking on uneven pavement and there's a crack in the sidewalk. And if your ankle doesn't go with it, you may end up falling. But if your ankle is a little more supple and it, it's end up going with it, you'll hopefully be able to prevent or lessen a fall. All right, so you're gonna take that leg and just put it down. We're gonna do the same thing with the other leg. So now take that left foot, heel down, toe up first. Don't wanna skip that, we wanna be, don't wanna be lopsided. <laughs> Leaning forward. Getting the stretch in the back of the leg, reaching if you can towards your foot or past the foot. Don't strain or force anything. And then slowly bring yourself up. If you have to put your hand on the leg, put it on the right to help yourself up, not on that extended knee. So now you're going to take that left ankle wherever is good for you, crossing at the ankle up the top. Your left hand is in the inner thigh, pushing down on it if you have no, don't have any hip issues. Keeping a flat back, aiming your chest towards your calf or shin. So we don't want to round the back. And then slowly bringing yourself up. Now you're gonna take the right hand in the center of the left thigh, pressing into the thigh. Use that for leverage as you look all the way over that left shoulder. And bringing yourself back to the center. We're rotating the ankle five times, nice big range of motion for one, two. This is something you can do while you're sitting home watching TV, three, four, and five, as long as there's no pain or injuries. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And you can bring that leg down. All right, so seated up nice and tall. We're gonna do a little bit of a seated cat cow and then a seated roll down. So I'm turning sideways so that you can see. We want to slide your hands past your knees as you imagine that a rope is pulling your spine in the other direction. So the head goes forward, the spine goes back, the fingers go forward, eyes gaze to the thighs, holding that position with a nice rounded back so that we can stretch the lower spine. And now as you slide your hands closer to your hips, lead with the chest, chest proud, chest up, tail up, and again, you're slowly just kind of tucking the chin, sliding your hands past your knees. That mid back is getting pulled back. And as you're taking it forward, getting a nice stretch in the spine. And now start sliding the hands closer to your hips as you lead with the chest. Push that chest forward, shoulder blades together. And then just relax. So we're gonna do a roll down which is gonna feel a little similar, but it's different. So you're gonna engage the abs, your knees are already bent, and you're gonna just tuck the chin and from the top down, imagine you're rolling up your mat, vertebra by vertebra, taking it all the way down. As you're rolling down, remember when we were standing, we let the hands just hang. So you take it to the level that is good for you, whether your hands come near the floor or you're just hanging down here getting that nice stretch. Now, if you are all the way down, and I want you to strain your back, you can slide your hands to the top of your thighs and let your arms 
help your body slowly come up so you don't put any pressure or strain your back. And you're just slowly rolling it up one bone at a time with the head coming up last. So that's our roll down. All right, so we are gonna take it from the top down now. So our shoulders are nice and drawn down, chin is level. And imagine you're sliding that chin on a shelf. You're gonna look all the way over your right shoulder without twisting the body as far as you can without forcing, keeping that range of motion as large as you can is super important. So now come back to the center. Now without twisting your body, look all the way over the left shoulder. And take it back to the center. You're gonna look all the way over that right shoulder again, but you're gonna tap your chin down and up three times when we get there. So look all the way over to the right again without forcing. So imagine the chin is gonna tap the collarbone. So bring it down and then lift the chin back up but stay looking to the right. And again, lower the chin down and bring it back up. One last time, lower the chin down and bring it back up and now take it to the center. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So look all the way over that left shoulder, hold it there and then drop the chin, look all the way down and bring your head back up. And again, lower the chin and lift up. We have one more, lower it down, lift up and take it over to the center. So now we are going to lower that right ear to the right shoulder. When you do that, don't let the shoulders go with it, just the head and keep your head level. Don't drop your chin. So lower that right ear to the right shoulder. If you have no neck issues and you want to add a little more tension, you can take the right fingertips at that left temple, adding a little bit of pressure. Don't yank or tug or pull on your head. For an even deeper stretch, if you think you're okay with that, you can take the left hand and reach it towards the floor. If that bothers you, then take it back to the stretch before. For an even deeper stretch, you can take that left hand behind your back. Again, only if that works for you. And you can remove the hand from behind the back, release the hand at the head, slowly bring your head up. And now do the same thing on the other side. So lower that left ear to the left shoulder first. Hold that position, just get used to that position. Then you can take that left fingertips at the right temple, adding a little bit more pressure. So the head is going towards the left. And now the right fingers are towards the floor, if that works for you. For an even deeper stretch, you can take that right hand behind the back. And then you can remove the hand that's behind the back, remove the hand at the head, slowly bring your head up. You're gonna slowly, without leaning the body forward, just dip the chin all the way down, looking down towards the floor in between your feet. If you think you can take it a little bit more of a stretch, you can take your fingertips, reach for the crown of the head, let the weight of your arms gently bring your head down a little bit more, but don't yank or pull. And if you are in that down position, release the fingers first, then slowly bring your head up. So you're gonna stretch out the shoulders a little bit. So you can take that right hand out to the side, chest height, and then cross the chest, the left hand palm up, reach for the forearm, and then just gently guide that arm across your body. Now you may have another way to do this for the shoulder stretch, feel free to do that. Sometimes people will take it like this. It's a little bit more intense. If you're used to doing it that way, go right ahead. So now you're gonna bring that right arm straight out in front of you. Let the left hand slide to the upper arm and help the arm up towards the ceiling, bending at the elbow, reaching the right fingertips towards that right shoulder and slightly pushing behind or reaching up and over if you're able to do that. You may be used to doing that. And taking it a slight bend over to the left, getting a stretch in the left side of the body. Also into that tricep area a little more and bringing that 
body all the way up and releasing the arm. So if you're having trouble reaching a specific stretch, go to the one before it, because if you're struggling to get there, then you're really not stretching or getting the benefit of the stretch. All right, so you're gonna take your left arm out to the side. You're gonna slowly cross the chest, let the right hand palm up, just reach for that forearm and guide that arm in. Again, it doesn't have to be very far or position your hand any way that you're used to. Holding that there. Ideally, we should be holding all of our stretches 30 to 60 seconds. So now you're going to take that left hand out in front, let the right hand slide up to the upper arm and help that arm come up. Bending at the elbow, reaching the left fingertips towards that left shoulder, either pushing from the front or reaching up and over if that is available to you and taking it into a little bit of a side bend. And bringing your body all the way back up, bringing the hands down. So we're gonna lift our heels up as high as we can. I'm gonna add some arm movements to that. The arm movements will either be just reaching all the way down to the ground, reaching out to the sides, or reaching up towards the sky. So when I say add your arm movements, you pick what is suitable for yourself. So you're gonna slowly lift both heels all the way up, feel that stretch really squeeze and lower them down. After we do five, I'm gonna add the arms. So slowly lift the heels all the way up again and lower them down. And again, lift for three and take them down two more, bringing it for four and down. Last one, lift for five and down. Now add the arms, whatever's best for you. Lift the heels, reach up or down and bring them back in. Lift and reach for two, whatever direction is good for you. Lift, reach for three, and take it down. Last two, reach for four, and take it down, and reach for five, and bring it all the way down. All right, so we're going to take a nice deep inhale. You're going to bring the hands up, the palms are going to touch overhead. So inhale up, palms touch. They're going to come down chest height. So you can go right to the chest area if that's okay with you. Breathe normally. Rotate your fingertips towards me. Stretching a little bit of the forearms and the wrists. And now come up and over. Reach the fingers towards yourself. A little bit more awkward. So don't strain or, or force it. One more time. Up and over towards me. Up and over towards yourself. Now keep the elbows where they are, just reach the fingertips towards the sky, interlace your fingers, flip your palms towards me, and just reach out either in front or if you have to reach down, again, whichever direction is more suitable for you, kind of stretching out the fingers, the hands, and bringing your hands back. And you're going to take the right hand out like you're saying stop. You're going to gently bring the fingers back. Mindful if you have any wrist issues. If you want a deeper stretch, rotate the palm up and the fingers down. Getting that deeper stretch there. If it's too much, go back to the other position. And you can release that hand. So take it to the other side. Gently bring your fingers back. Lifting the palm up if you want that deeper stretch. You don't have to. And bring that hand down. And releasing the hands. So we're going to take it into a nice deep inhale. You're going to bring your hands all the way up. The palms face each other, but they don't touch. Exhale, rotate the palms forward as you drop the elbows down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open up the chest. Inhale, bring the hands up. The palms face each other, but they don't touch. Exhale as you come down, palms rotate forward. We're going to go one more time like this. Inhale, bringing them up. Palms face each other. Exhale down, palms face forward. And just relax and bring the hands down. Good. We're going to take it into some shoulder rolls and then into some big arm circles. 
So with the shoulder rolls, and if the arm circles aren't good for you, continue with the shoulder rolls. So we're gonna go five up and around, squeeze the shoulder blades and taking it for number two and three and four and five. Now reverse that direction, taking it up and around for one, two, three and four, one more and five. We're gonna take it now full arm circles. If that's not good for you, continue with those shoulder rows. So up and around for one, squeeze that back and two, three, upper back should feel really good and four and five. Now reverse it around for one and two and three. Here's four and five, all right. So we're just going to bring your legs slightly out if you can. Bring the arms either up or reach down. We're gonna do something similar on the mat. So we're gonna reach the hands and feet in the opposite direction. Nice deep inhale and exhale. And again, nice deep inhale and exhale. And breathe normally, bringing the hands down. You're going to bring your right knee in towards your chest like we did before, but we're just going to hold it there. How high up you come is up to you, holding it underneath the thigh because we're going to extend the leg out, whether it's low or high, it's up to you. So extend it out for one and two and three. We're going to rotate the ankle three times. That's one, two, three. Reverse it for one two, three, and you're gonna take your left hand on the outside of that right leg and just bring it over. If you can cross it over, fine. Otherwise, just hold it over like that. And now taking that right hand out to the side, turning to look to the right, getting a nice little torso twist and taking it back to the center and bringing that leg back to where it was. So now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, bring that left knee into the chest, reaching for the back of the thigh if you can. You don't have to bring it up too high. Go for your three extensions all the way out for one and two and three, rotating the ankle three times for one, two, three, reverse for one, two, three. And then you're gonna take that right hand on the outside of the left leg and guide it over. As you bring that left arm out, you're just twisting to look towards the left hand and taking it back to the center and bringing that leg down. You're gonna bring your right leg out to the side and out all the way out, getting that nice stretch there if you can. And bringing it back to the center. Kind of keeping that leg straight and crossing it a little bit. And taking it to the other leg. So bring it out straight and then out to the side, getting that nice inner leg stretch. And taking it back to the side. So we're gonna do some similar things quickly on the mat. What we're gonna do on the mat, we um, somewhat did on the chair. So you can repeat that again, if you'd like. So you're gonna be on your back. You're gonna extend your hands and feet in the opposite direction. Just like we did in the chair, we extended the hands and feet in the opposite direction. So imagine that someone has taken hold of your wrists and your ankles. And if bringing your arms up overhead is a problem, you can reach them down to the floor if you're in a chair or towards your feet if you're on the mat. And now just like we did earlier on the chair, you're gonna bring your right knee in towards your chest. The hand goes behind the back of the thigh, hugging it in. You're gonna go for your three extensions, just like we did all the way up for one and two and three. And you're gonna rotate your ankle around for one, two, three, reverse for one, two, three. And now you're gonna take that left hand on the outside of the right leg, just like we did earlier, bringing it over to the other side or crossing it over, extending the right arm out to the right, turning your head to look towards that right hand. 
So on the mat, it just becomes a little bit of a deeper stretch. And then taking it back to the center again and releasing that right leg and placing it back to your start position. So if you're in your chair, your leg is bent. If you're on the mat, it's out straight. So now you're gonna reach for your left leg, hand behind the thigh, hugging it in just like we did earlier. Going for your three extensions all the way up for one and two and three, rotating the ankle three times around for one, two, three, reversing for one, two, three, placing that right hand on the outside of that left leg bringing it, crossing it over, extending that left arm out, looking towards that left hand, just like we did earlier on the chair. And bringing your leg back to the center and lowering it back to your start position. So if you are in the chair, you're gonna straighten out the right leg and bring it out to the side like we did just did earlier. If you're on the mat, you're gonna reach for your rope, place it underneath that right leg and extend that leg out straight. And you're gonna bring that straight leg out to the side. So we're opening up that hip area. Now, if you're in the chair, stay with that left leg bent and the right leg straight. If you are on the mat, you can try straightening out that left leg only if it's not gonna bother your back. So if you're on the chair, you can bring that straight leg in straight in front. If you're on your mat, you can take that right leg up and over, getting a slightly different stretch. It's, it's a little difficult to do on the chair, but stay in that position. and bring yourself back up and now bring your legs back to the center position if you're on the mat bend your right leg put the foot down on the floor and you're going to place the rope underneath or underneath that left leg if you're in the chair extend the left leg out straight to the side like we did earlier if you're on the mat both pieces of the rope are in that left hand as you're opening that left, left leg out to the side, getting a stretch in the inner thigh. And bringing that leg back up towards the ceiling and removing that strap. We're gonna make our way up to a standing position. So come up safely, come up slowly, especially if you're down on the mat because you can tend to get lightheaded if you pop right up. So bring yourself all the way up to that standing position. And we're just gonna bring our hands up overhead or out in the center of the chest. You're gonna interlace your fingers, whether it's down here or up overhead is up to you. So bringing the hands all the way up, interlacing the fingers, popping it up towards the ceiling or down towards the floor bringing the arms as far back or squeezing the shoulder blades together or reaching behind your back. We're just trying to get a stretch into the, um, a little bit into the chest area, into the armpits. And now just slowly bring the arms down. And now you're gonna reach behind your back. Now you're either gonna just reach your hands back or interlace them. If this bothers your shoulders or anything, then keep them, don't interlace opening up the chest again, bringing the arms all the way down. And relaxing. And we're just going to take it with our heels slightly together. We're gonna to take it to some heel lifts as we bring the arms out to the side. So just inhale as you lift the heels. That's optional, you don't have to lift if that's a problem. So lift the heels, bring the arms out to the side, hold it there for one, two, three, and then slowly come down. And again, nice deep inhale as you lift the heels, arms out to the side, hold it for one, two, three, slowly come down as you exhale. Two more times, inhale, arms out to the side, you can hold it for one, two, three, and take it down. One more time, all the way up, hold it there for one, two, three, and taking it all the way down. So we're gonna take it into a little bit of a 
chair like position when we did the squat, but you're going to place your hands in a prayer position. So we're going to take it down into our little bit of a squat. Bring your hands into that chair position. You have the option to hold it here. I'm turning front so you can see. I'm going to bring that left elbow towards my right knee with a little bit of a twist as I'm looking up towards my right elbow. And taking it back to the center and just bringing myself all the way back up. So I'm going to do the same thing again. You're going to take it into that little bit of a squat chair position. The arms come out front. Bring your hands into a prayer position in front of your chest. Wide elbows. Now that right elbow is going to come down towards the left knee. Looking up towards that left elbow, which is up towards the ceiling. Taking it back to the center. Place your hands on your thighs and just roll yourself up. Bone by bone by bone, one vertebra at a time. So we're bringing ourselves all the way up. So you're going to bring your arms out to the sides. Nice deep inhale. You're going to come to the center. The left hand is going to be higher than the right. You're going to reach for your opposite shoulders and give yourself a hug. Tucking your chin down, lifting the elbows up, feeling a little bit of a stretch in the upper back. And then lowering the elbows, lifting the chin and opening up the arms again. We're going to re-hug with the right arm on top. So slowly bring your arms back. Right arm is on top. Give yourself another hug. Tuck your chin. Lift the elbows. Look down between your feet. Get that little bit of a stretch. Then lower the elbows. Lift the chin, bringing the arms down. So we're going to conclude with two last movements. As you inhale, you're lifting the heels. Lift the hands. Lift the eyes, looking up to the ceiling. Exhale, push it down, the hands come down, the heels down, the eyes look down to the ground. One last time. Inhale up, bring everything up. Exhale down, bring everything down. All right, everybody, enjoy your summer. We'll see you back in September. Hope you have a lot of fun things that you're doing over the summer. If I didn't get your attendance, did I get everybody?